up his first victory. It turned out to be an interesting afternoon. Match commentator Archie McPherson. The weather has been thwarted by the Ibrox under soil heat, but will the chill factor affect this crowd much more tellingly than the wind from the northeast? A big egg on his managerial debut here can't record his first win against a club which hasn't achieved a win in the last five matches. Rangers striving to bring in new talent to midfield, have to make do with an improvised setup again, hoping Barry Ferguson can weld them together. And without doubt, the name of the Mercurial, Lorenzo Amoroso, received the warmest reception by the crowd in his return from suspension to the heart of Rangers' defence. Dundee United won 2-0 the last time they were here and make three changes from last week's draw with Aberdeen. Tasso Benitez and Stephen Thompson come in to replace Hasniel Joffrey, Jim Hamilton and Stephen McConnellog, which makes room for Charlie Miller, who many thought would reach the heights when he wore a Rangers jersey and comes back today perhaps to haunt them. Referee today, Mr Kenny Clark. Well, there hasn't been uh, too much seasonal encouragement for these two clubs. On the one hand, Rangers having an AGM trying to convince people that the debt, huge debt, is serviceable. And uh, Dundee United, backstabbing going on there in Dundee at the moment, resembles Chicago, I think, in the Roaring Twenties. One never knows how it's going to pan out for them. But can these two teams put all that behind them and put on a display fitting for this Christmas season, we certainly hope so. United, of course, won the last time they were here, which must give them some encouragement. And by all accounts, they played extremely well against Aberdeen last week, without much uh, return on that, as did Rangers. Now Conterman, trying to find out Valanci, and he does. In his favorite position on the left-hand side, lovely little ball to Newman. That's well whipped across, but nobody had come up for that. He had outstripped everybody there, and that's a throw to Rangers. But good movement again by Avalanche on the left, and I think it will be fatal for United if they allow the man that kind of latitude on the left-hand side. Play to Charlie Miller. Stephen Carson on this right-hand side. Well enough tackled, and... Well, I think, in fact, United have been given a free kick for that. Shot a goal and Amoruso just stabs away. Well, that's a very good shot there by David Partridge. He measured it up, took his time, very calculatedly, and smote it towards goal, but you could see Klaus dealt with it with that degree of confidence. Well, United are, are playing with the, the kind of confidence where they can knock it about in midfield, like this, beautifully taken by Carson. Thompson had come away wide right. And it's away by Ross. Here's De Boer. Brilliant turn by De Boer. Arbelazzi should get it and he does. Arbelazzi in and go. He does it. Cleanly taken by the Georgian. The D United had pushed forward, left themselves vulnerable on that right hand side of their defence. He had a long way to run. Now, I've seen him on one-on-ones at Ivers before that he has missed. This time, he made absolutely sure. I think perhaps deceiving the goalkeeper, who might have felt he was going to play it wider to his left. And Rangers go one in front at a crucial time in his game. The D United were coming into the game with confidence, as I said. That's a good ball inside. Little one-two being played. And United's best move of the game so far, almost finished off by Tasso Benitez. Little one-twos being played there, he went back in for it. There's a challenge, there's the ball played back inside. Well, he did see the whites of that goalkeeper's eyes. And that's the nearest they've come yet to a goal. A swing in it. That's off, and it's in again. Thompson got the equaliser. 
Well, where was the goalkeeper? And indeed, where was the entire Rangers defence? I mean, Laughlin was left not wholly uncovered, but given a surprising amount of freedom here. There he is. Well, you could see that Contamin completely lost sight of where the ball was. He was looking elsewhere. Well, there's Alex Smith right in the middle with his arms folded there. You know, that man's name's being tossed about like a, a piece of spent tissue paper up in Dundee at the moment, which is a, a great shame since he brought about stability in the last year to Dundee United. Hope they don't forget that. Rickson. I just can't make progress. Here's Advalazzi. Now De Boer. Plenty passes by Rangers. Just lacking that penetration again. Rickson wants the final ball, but of a leg. Newman can't get it. The wrong side of him is right hand side. Good move by Rangers and Rickson. Here's Vidbar. Well, that's a very good ball out. Balanzi! Now, one wonders why he took it just as quickly as that. I don't think he quite needed to take it at that angle. He had a little bit of leeway to let it bounce just a little more in front of him. Well, Patterson and uh, Benitez again have added to that midfield that uh, United have is playing a lot of good football. Here's Contamin. Well, once again, poor pass followed by Contamin. Put out there by Craig Easton. Picked up there. No flow. Can't pick it up. Lovely ball put through there. It required that instant touch, though. Ross, De Boer. Flow. Here's Ross. Beautiful little touch, and Ross took it too far I think he gets a corner kick but again his first touch let him down watch this glorious piece of play and it was that touch there where he pushed it just too far ahead he had to go towards the, the goal line again nevertheless a corner kick and it's Amorusa and on his return from suspension the big fella Leaps up there with delight. A simple goal, but very effective. And he comes across to the new management team and gives them both a hug, as if to say, welcome, and maybe you'll make me captain after that. The Ranger support, right behind that goal, rising to the man who gives them encouragement again after going a bit flat they're back in the lead here's Ross De Boer Ferguson plays it simply Abeladze Newman Contiman Avalanti Rangers playing with a bit more confidence now right on the halftime whistle well a kind of uh, roar of relief from the Rangers supporters they had taken that lead an excellent goal by Avalanti after that long run towards the goalkeeper 
keeping his cool, near post, and in it went. And then Dundee United, who had been coming back into the game, playing good possession football in midfield, got a goal, which I think, for well, no disrespect to them, came from shoddy defending. And in it went eventually from uh, Thompson after Lachlan had caused the panic by being there. And then up came Amoruso, absolutely delighted not just to come back into the Rangers' side, but to lead from the front, as the former captain likes to do. Rangers leading at halftime by two goals to one. Midfielded an improvised uh, midfield, and indeed that's the way they've been playing it. it hasn't been with any great uh, self-assurance, but they are in the lead. And given the fact that the United had a lot of possession in that game and still walked away at it, even though they were behind and did get the equaliser, they could still make a game of it if they keep their head. Might have been a handle, uh, a hand used there, but referee might have considered that to be accidental. That's meant for Advaladzi again. Here he is. Certainly going for it. Well, there's no intention for that man to part with the ball. Good control, a very difficult ball to take in the first instance, and he did well. Watch the high bounce here. Thompson, who did well to get out of that, there's a shot, and Avarusa wasn't at all happy with uh, the sport he was given, too many players uh, around him there, and he did very well to keep that control and get that shot in at all, United crowding them in midfield, Avarusa comes away with it though, there's a run by Rickson, Here's Arbaladze, he's onside. Arbaladze going in, and that's it. Tremendous. A second for Arbaladze. Running the full length of the field again. He had the option of maybe putting it inside to Rickson, who I think was impeded in any case. He decided it's my ball. And so it was. 54 minutes on the clock and Rangers are now storming ahead thanks again to the Georgian Patterson what a pace in there Amarissa comes away with it he judged that well enough there's Flo breaks in Amarissa pulled out of position put in there by Patterson and no cover at all. Newman ran away from that. That's an incredible goal. They ran away from Thompson. Good on the lad for the way he took it eventually. But watch this extraordinary running away and leave, leaving him on his own. Not exactly the easiest of gifts because he had eventually defenders coming down on him. And he swore it in. Contivan. Arbaladze. Couldn't quite get the decent control. Arbaladze again. Here's Flo with it. And it's to the wrong side of the net. And I think he made it difficult for himself by dragging it away to the left. Once again, wonderful play by Abbaladze setting the big Norwegian up here, but that was a very, very fine angle to take the ball, even though he had turned the defence inside out. Miller. Thompson shielding it again. Back he goes, Cordeman. Oh, that's a great effort by Charlie Miller. And that, I think, exposed the defensive frailty of Quanterman as he seemed to lose track of that ball again, allowing Charlie Miller the shot at goal. Onto Valadzi. Good movement by Newman. Has to cut back the way, though. Here's Valadzi. 
Ferguson. Gontemann. Did that well enough. Now Ross. Swings it over and it's in the air. Stop the line. Newman. Great save. And Rangers couldn't kill him off there. Tremendous run here by Ross, an excellent ball, the best ball he's put in this afternoon, trundling beyond everybody. Gallagher there, but look at this last one coming up from Newman. He stood his ground bravely. And once again, Ross beaten on the outside. Comes back, though, and he's given support as Amoroso comes forward. Alvaladze getting again, what a tremendous second half Alvaladze's had. Trailing players in his wake. Great football, De Boer. Puts it across strongly and I think that might be a chronic kick. It is indeed. And United again had more players in that area than Rangers and thus they survived this excellent play by Ronald De Boer who looked up, where is it? And there was nobody to help him. Ross slightly hesitated. Lighted, looking dangerous again, that's a great effort! It must be this time, just past. Wonderful effort to get an equaliser there. That Rangers defence was taken apart again. That is played through there, and since he's come on, McConnellog has been running at that defence. Missed there, and then the second one coming in. And away to the side, put up by the Rangers defenders. Coming in. Ronnie O'Brien coming from that right-hand side. Looked like a push, and it was. Rickson's onside. Oh, it's almost an on goal. That's a brilliant save. Really was a magnificent save. Instinctive. Amoruso goes away. needed a little bit of support again he's been dragged out of position can United take advantage of this here's Ferguson free kick and it goes to De Boer neat turn by De Boer Alvalanti there's a shot that's just passed well he did very well to get that uh, Little manoeuvre, little shuffle. After De Boer had set him up for it. Defender in front of him, he does that very well. And there goes the final whistle. Alec McLeish has attained his first victory as the Rangers manager. But what a struggle. Opening goal by Arvaladze. Setting the stage for him being, in my opinion, the man of the match. Then Thompson coming in for that equaliser. Followed by Amoroso with the, the header and then running to his management team to embrace him. Arbalaji with another splendid goal. And then Thompson given an absolute gift to give uh, the United a chance. Let's just say in a most Christmassy, charitable way about Rangers that Big Egg has a lot of hard work to do with this outfit. Final score Rangers 3, then the United 2. How important was it for you to get that first win, get that out of the way? Very important, yeah, it was very important. I think the players were a wee bit anxious as well to get the win and at times they were trying to do each other's job when, when they have to trust their teammates at times. Uh, but overall I felt the commitment and application was tremendous and you know we should have made it more comfortable for ourselves. I thought we 